The following is a brief tutorial on how to install a landing and then some steps off of your patio. First thing you need to do is make sure that the area is ready and to do that you sometimes will need to put some wood up. Now before you do that you need to buy the wood and before you do that you've obviously got to plant the tree, you've got to let it grow and then you've got to cut it down, take it to a lumber mill, but that's another video. Um, I seem to have missed part of it, but I hope you're watching and can understand what's happening. Obviously, it involves a lot of cutting, a lot of measuring. You need to measure twice, at least twice. Three times is not a bad idea, and then you cut once. That's just the way it works. It helps to have electricity, and it helps to have extension cords. I probably don't even need to say that. And then if you have an electric saw, that's even better because then you can make use of electricity. So you buy a bunch of lumber at the store, or as I said, you grow it yourself, and then you cut it after measuring it. Now you also have to make sure that you either have some really good Elmer's glue, or Gorilla glue, or wood glue, because a lot of this is wood. Some of it is not. Some of it is going to be a composite that you've just seen them put on. Getting back to the glue. I would recommend not using glue. I would probably use nails or better yet, screws. Now you just saw part of it being uninstalled. That wasn't the video running backwards. I believe that was done on purpose because it was originally just being measured. Now, after you've got sort of the base of it, you cut these little things. I think they're called pieces of composite something and they really go up like a split. You can see that and do a lot of measuring even after you have installed them and then take them down and put them back up. This time though when you put them back up you should really use those screws because that helps a lot. Sometimes you need a break. You just do. When you come back you're going to see that that is still there waiting for you unless of course the deck fairy has come and completed the job for you or the tin, not the tin woodsman but the elf and the shoemaker guy. So take, a, take another break. There's no use getting super hot and then come back and really get to work. I mean really get to town. You're going to do <clears throat> excuse me, a lot more cutting. You're going to do some more drilling. I don't know what, what that is exactly. I can't remember what I did there. And at this point you are just about ready to put those little uh, pieces up. They're not really structural but they kind of keep the animals from building nests under there, birds and uh, cats. Cats do build nests if you let them outside a lot, which is why we don't. Now, unfortunately, the camera broke for a few minutes and it's getting very close to done. You see that the steps are on. You see that those white posts are up. It's sort of a Parthenon type arrangement but when you take the post off you see that it's just wood which is good because wood is a lot stronger than plastic posts and you wouldn't want to for instance lean against them sit on them or anything like that now it's very important to level level headed you've got to be level minded and you've got to build things level otherwise they're not going to be level there's a little bubble in there I'm not sure how it works but it must be some sort of a special bubble that shows you when it's level now, when you get done leveling, you want to put up those handrail guards because if you don't, OSHA is just going to come and shut you right down. There's no question about it. So don't even try to skimp and think, hey, I, I probably don't need those. I've got a pretty good sense of balance. I bet I can make it down that deck 98 times out of 100. Just put them up. Take the extra time, spend the extra money and put them up. As you see, there's a lot involved in that. There's a lot of cutting, there's some screwing, there's some nailing. There might be a little stapling, but I think this is a staple-free landing and stairs. Now, as you get close to being finished, you're going to realize, hey, my camera is almost out of memory. So I may not get this whole thing, but it's still going to be a good public service and a great tutorial. Back to the actual building. You got to cut, cut, cut. The cutting almost never ends until the electricity runs out and then it becomes a lot slower and it really gets your shoulders and muscles tired. Unfortunately, that's all I could record. Public service announcement number three. Thank you. Goodbye.